we are gonna be spinning some fire. Hell yeah. Doing all of this because we have 5,000 subscribers, which is totally awesome, so we have to celebrate. We do this because we like you so much. 5,000 subscribers. So we want to do something fun and teach you something. We're basically going to spin and burn steel wool, and we're gonna create art. I'm gonna show you all the steps to it. It's gonna be sweet. Check this out. Steel wool, the spinning cable, nine volt battery, obviously eye protection and hand protection. You know, the whole bit. The way we do this, I have a kitchen whisk and some fine steel wool. I'm stuffing it in here. Keep it a little bit poofy so that uh, you let air inside of it. And then I have a nine volt battery to light the steel wool. Whatever you do, do not put the steel wool with the battery in your pocket. I'm not gonna show you the science yet. We'll get to that at the end. Here's the science. Here is our steel wool. Steel, of course, is an alloy of iron, and that means it's iron with about 2% or so of carbon mixed in. So for simplicity, let's just say it's mostly iron. We use a nine volt battery because the terminals are close together. Touching it to the steel wool sends a current through the thin wire and it heats up a lot to about 700 degrees Celsius. These temperatures cause the iron to react with oxygen in the air, creating iron oxide. This reaction releases heat, which heats up the next bit of iron and so on, causing a cascading reaction across the steel wool. Of course, remember that this reaction requires oxygen, so fluffing it up and spinning it increases the amount of oxygen available, hence speeding up the reaction and giving us this amazing display used for our photographs. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> the sparks got me, and it burned a hole in my jacket. There's something that's not gonna catch fire and burn. Know where that thing is spinning, because if it hits your pants, it could go flying, and you could have a hole in your pants. <laughs> did it hit your pants? <laughs> yeah, it did. It hit something. <laughs> but <laughs> I made it out all right. Just make sure you know where that thing is spinning. Okay. <laughs> so remember, keep following us. We have a lot of stuff coming up. We have sports science, and we also have the science of uh, babies. I'm not gonna tell you anything more about this. You will learn soon enough. And also remember we have a behind the scenes channel where you can learn a lot more about the experiment that we did today with the uh, steel wool fireworks. Check out the link right here somewhere. And thanks again, see you next time. We gotta get a shot, otherwise this is in vain. Problem is, is it's roughly 28 degrees outside. I can't feel my hands. 